I was happy that for her to take such a giant step at her young age. But again, on the other side, I felt very sad. I felt like as if I'm a burden to her. things people in Asia to do and go to work for me. My name is Megadeko Chalke. When my mother fell ill, I had to leave school and get a job. Honestly, I, I had mixed emotions because, okay, usually when she leaves, she does leave in the morning while I'm still sleeping. Then I see her when she comes back from check up but that day it was different because she left next thing i'm getting a call that she's getting admitted honestly i cried because i thought she was going to pass away well in her family everyone literally everyone that has been admitted at para never came back home so there was just a lot had to be at work by six o'clock wiping tables and it sounds easy when you're telling someone that oh we're just wiping tables but it's not that easy because emotionally you're really not okay physically spiritually you're you feel like you're just gonna fall down and you're gonna you know burst into tears or just have a breakdown you know but i had to carry myself and just be strong and put myself together because there was no time to cry i had to work I had to make sure that when my mom comes home, we're gonna have something on the table. You understand? I knew that I won't go hungry with her around me. And I knew that I will never lack with her around me. I reached a point whereby I stopped working so that I can take care of my mother full time. It was difficult because I had to do everything from having to do almost nothing to having to do everything from cleaning to cooking to washing the dishes. Like I didn't even have time for myself. I didn't have time for my phone. I just had to step up and do what I needed to do because there was no one else that could do it, you know? So I had to be a strong girl. That's where actually my strong side came out. That's where, and you know, sometimes you don't even know you're capable of doing something until you are put into that situation or you are faced in that, with that situation. So that's where actually I discovered my strength that I'm a very strong girl, you know? And the fact that I'm a female child, we, I have a brother, but me as a female, a girl child, and in the normal world that we live in, people expect boys or males to t actually take up and stand up and be like i will do this or take this responsibility but this time it was vice versa it was me the girl and i was like you know what i will provide for my family mm. during that time i didn't even know what was happening with me what was going on what to expect and not and what not to expect but they did try to explain to me what's happening with my my hip and what I'm going to what are they going to do with the hip so i was i felt very scared but i trusted god that everything will be fine then i went for the surgery it was very painful i couldn't turn when i was sleeping i couldn't stand up by myself but lucky enough mkateko was there to help me to do a lot of things even going to the loo Taking a path, she was there by my side. When you're going through that thing, it doesn't seem like there'll be a change, you know? It's that period in your life where you're like, there is no light at the end of the tunnel, but the actual truth is there is light at the end of the tunnel. 